Hi. Are you my Reiki and energy plucking session? You are. Mm. Okay. Yes, I can feel the energy off of you already. I'm glad that you're here. You could definitely use this session today, I think. I can feel that you've been stressed and maybe a little bit tired. Mm-hmm. You have. All right. So let's just get right into it. First things first, I can see that you've got some energetic cords going on in your aura. Yes, around your third eye chakra. Your throat chakra has a little bit of a blockage there. Do you have a hard time speaking up for yourself sometimes? Sometimes. Okay. And then I can see that there's a little bit of a blockage right there. In your heart chakra, you've got some energetic cords definitely coming out of there. Yeah, I can feel them around your aura. Yeah, so you've got some negative attachments there with your heart chakra. And then moving down, your solar plexus seems okay. And your sacral chakra seems alright as well. But then when we get down to your root chakra, again, seem things seem a little bit muddy. It's not that bright red color that we want. So I think that we need to do some grounding work with you. Some heart and throat chakra clearing as well as maybe a little bit of third eye work. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with your root chakra. I've got my crystal here to help me out with the energy cleansing. My red gold stone. Mm-hmm. The vibrations from this crystal align with the root chakra and they help to clear out any energy blockages that you might have. And this will help to ground you and help you feel a little bit more secure, a little bit less anxious, okay? Okay, so let's get started. Setting the intention to clear all of the energetic blockages in the root chakra putting any energetic attachments that there may be okay. mm. patching up any holes there may be in the auric field mm. I can already see some improvement and while I'm working on you Visualize a bright red light circulating where your root chakra is and carrying away with it any negative energies, okay? We really want that bright red color. Okay, so I've also got these two grounding stones here. any residual energy off of them and going directly working on that root chakra mm -hmm. okay so these will definitely help you feel more secure more at home and more settled yeah okay got this selenite wand because I see that you've got some some cords attached here at your root chakra okay so I'm just going to cut those cords with this selenite wand Wow, okay. 
that's looking a lot better. That is feeling a lot, a lot more grounded. Yeah, definitely a lot more balanced, okay? Balancing that root chakra. How does that feel? Can you feel the difference? You can right away. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. All right, so we are going to move up to your heart chakra located right here. This chakra resonates with the color green, green crystals, or the color pink. Will help the heart chakra to open up, open up. And this is actually where I see the most energetic cords attached here. Yeah, so I can see that you are a very giving person. You tend to put others before yourself and you kind of put your own needs on the back burner. You give and give and give to others and you just care so much for others, but you have to remember to care for yourself, okay? So I'm just going to work on plucking out some of that negative energy, clearing away some of those beliefs, those belief patterns. Mm. Oh, that's a stubborn one. Okay, some up here too. Yeah. Mm hmm. around your auric field and within the heart center some muddiness in color I can feel some resistance okay, so I'm just going to grab my selenite wand here and kind of just clear away that residual energetic fog those dark spots in the heart chakra. Mm. Okay, so chakras, just cleaning off any energies, okay good, okay moving up to your throat chakra, blockages in the throat chakra are very very common, it's not a big deal, very easy to cleanse, don't you worry, I can do this for you, not a problem, okay so focus on a bright blue light circulating and swirling moving up into the throat area and carrying with it any negative energies releasing any blockages that's right okay oh, i see some there good you're already you're doing great yes wiping away wiping away Wiping it away. Good. Wiping it away. Wiping it away. Throwing it away. Wiping it away. Throwing it away. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Just gonna pluck. Look that there, pluck it. I'm just gonna get it. Good. 
and here I've got a sodalite wand. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this I'm just going to swirl this right around. Good. And swirl that around that throat chakra there. Yes. Energetic cords around this throat chakra there. Mm -hmm, right here. Alright. That is looking pretty squeaky clean to me. How do you feel? Do you feel more open? I feel like there might still be something. Okay, let me just have a look. Let me have a little feel of your energy. Mm. Oh, feel just feeling around your throat chakra for any residual negative energy. Mm, okay, I do feel a little bit of a blockage left, so I'm just gonna grab one more little crystal here and just yeah, kind of scrub it. There. I'm sure that feels better. Yeah, that was some really stubborn energy there. Mmm, okay. Okay, good. Good. Alright. So, yes, right here. So this is your third eye. Mm -hmm. This is your third eye. This is where our intuition happens. This is what allows us to feel the vibes of others, to see hidden meanings behind things. This, this gives us, it's our sixth sense, so to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a really important chakra to have clear. And unfortunately, not a lot of people have a very clear and open third eye. No, not many do. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you wish for heightened intuition, then we can definitely do some clearing on that third eye. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, you would like that? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So, I'm going to get out my pendulum for this. Mm. My angelite. Yeah, so I'm just going to... Just going to swing that around. Yeah, this is gathering up that, this is gathering up some of those energetic blockages there. In that third eye area, mm -hmm. good, yeah, that really picked up a lot there. Good, 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 yep, just swinging. Gathering up some energy and then brushing it away. Gathering up that energy and then brushing it away. 
gathering that energy, picking it up right there, yeah, good, and then cleaning it off, brushing it away, good, all right, so, and just close your eyes for a moment, close your eyes, You're feeling a lot more clear. There's a lot more movement within the energy field here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've got everything for today. Just feeling around, making sure that there's nothing left behind you. Mm. Top of your head. No, I think that we have been successful with this Reiki energy blocking session. Yeah. And how are you feeling? Feeling a little bit sleepy? Mm, that's totally normal. Yes, it's normal to feel sleepy after having intense energy work done. Yeah, of course. It's taxing. It's taxing and it can be tiring, especially when removing negative energy. Your auric field and your body, your spirit need time to recover. So why don't you just have a little rest now? Yeah. Good, good. You're welcome to stay as long as you need here to rest and recover. Yeah, you are. You are. Thank you for coming, please. Don't hesitate to come back if you're feeling any energetic fog going on. Okay? I'll be happy to clear you up again. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, you rest up, you have a nice nap, okay?